Alright everybody, welcome back. My name is Skillis the Kid, and I have another sneaker review here for you. This time we're going to be talking about the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Statics. These are the non-reflective version. We're going to be talking a little bit about it, so let's get into it. Now the first thing I want to let you know is that I am currently in the process of moving. I'm not at my normal workbench, and if you can excuse the lighting, I would highly appreciate it. So, uh, the first thing you're going to notice is that, uh, you know, the statics, they are a different color from the other uh, V2s that came out. These V2s, they come out in different kind of colors and, and different kind of patterns. I bought these um, used, so it does have a couple of smudges on it, but um, it's pretty well cleaned. And it looks really good uh, but the first thing you're gonna notice is like this translucent side swipe here uh, normally the v2s don't have this but you can see right through this stripe right here and you know like if you're wearing like red socks or something you're gonna be able to see right through and uh, if you notice like the patterns on this one it is uh, this is white and gray and they have different patterns along the side of the shoe. Um, there's a pattern right here that it's it's like little squares and it goes down. And then moving along to the front of the shoe, uh, you can see like the side swipe right there. There's some more patterns going on. You have like the, the iconic Yeezy stitching uh, going through like the front of the shoe. And then you have like 3M laces which means they are reflective if the light hits them a certain way. And then moving along the uh, inside of the shoe, it looks just like all the other V2s. And they have like different patterns of white and gray right here. And then when you move around like the back of the shoe, it has like, uh, like the pull tab. Now, not all the V2s have pull tabs. Uh, some of them doesn't have a pull tab at all and then you can just see the back but this particular one did and then if you look on the inside you can see um, you know it'll say uh, Adidas and Yeezy right there these are a little bit worn so it's kind of rubbed off I'm gonna put different insoles in it anyway so that's not really a big deal and then the midsole is it's like white but it's translucent you can actually see the boost inside and then on the bottom, as you can see right there, it does says boost. You can see it right here too. They have like a, a square track pattern on the bottom. All of the V2s have like the same bottom of the shoe. And of course, you know, you have like a, it's prime knit upper and you have your like your boost midsole. Now they do uh, have like a reflective version of these shoes that came out uh, before Christmas of 2018. These came out on the uh, 27th of 2018 after the reflectives. So the static reflectives, they were pretty much uh, limited supply. And then these came out um, right after. Now these do very well on like the resale market. Like right now they can go up to about 300 or 400 dollars brand new and I believe like the reflectives are even more But that's all I have for now about the statics. They uh, look very similar to the cloud whites um, But the cloud whites came out in 2019 after these were released But I'm gonna drop everything down into the description so you can tell the difference between uh, all the different Yeezy sneakers and he recently just released the uh, the knit runner, uh, which came in yellow. Um, but that shoe is completely different from this one. Um, but he's continuing to uh, release like the V2s probably during the holidays and into uh, 2022. But let me know what you think about the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 statics, non-reflectives. I'm going to have some more videos coming up pretty soon. I want to thank everybody for watching. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.
Peace.